Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series I want to do on YouTube and I need your help straight away so I need you to name this whole series. In this series we've got little segments which I have named but I want you to name this whole series so get writing in the comments below. So in episode one we have worldwide workouts this is where we see how different cultures do health, fitness, and nutrition, keep them healthy. We also have Fit Chat. This is where we get people from all walks of life and we work out with them while interviewing them, see what's happening in their spheres. And last but not least, this week we have Challenge Accepted. This is where I try different sports and activities. And this week is Pole Fitness. So this is what's coming up this week. Thank you so much. And again, comment below on what this whole thing can be called. Enjoy this show. It's really good. Japanese culture emphasizes the importance of daily movements for overall health and well-being. Activities like Tai Chi, Karate and simple walking are deeply ingrained in Japanese society. Tai Chi, for example, is a gentle form of martial art that promotes balance, flexibility and mental focus. It originated in China but has been widely adopted and adapted in Japan for its health benefits. Karate is a martial art that provides both physical exercise and mental discipline. Walking, especially in nature settings like parks or forests, is a common practice known as Shinrin Yoku or forest bathing, which is believed to reduce stress and improve mood. Another key aspect of Japanese culture contributing to health is portion control, as seen in the principle of Hara Hachibu. This traditional saying originated from Okinawa and it encourages people to stop eating when they're 80% full. This practice prevents overeating and promotes mindful eating, allowing individuals to enjoy their meals without indulging. It aligns with the broader Japanese dietary philosophy of moderation and balance, which emphasizes fresh, seasonal ingredients and a variety of foods. The concept of Harahashibu is deeply rooted in Japanese cultural values of simplicity, self-discipline and respect for nature's bounty. That was Worldwide Workout, that was Japan and listen, if you are liking it so far, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Let's get on with the next one, this is Fit Chat. Ow. What's your name and well, what do you do? My name is Christina Kukowski and I am a personal training coach uh, at Stark Fitness uh, and I train, I have my own business, Strong Mummy, and I train pre and postpartum mums um, through their pregnancy and beyond um, through recovery and just teaching them how to love and understand their body better and obviously get really strong and really fit too. Yeah. What's your name and what do you do? My name's Amanda and I am a tattoo artist and I tattoo scalp micropigmentation and I am tattooing for breast cancer survivors. What is the name of the podcast and where can people find it? So at the moment we've got a podcast Mental Moms with me and Amanda. Uh, and if you go on Spotify and you just search for Mental Moms, then you should be able to find us there. Lovely pink logo. Explicit content. Explicit content, obviously. <laughs> what inspired you to start the Mental Moms podcast? So it was mainly um, connection, um, networking, 
um, in being able to help others um, who could be in the same position as us and just naturally talking about it being quite raw Christina isn't it being quite raw yeah. real um, and talking about real life things Why do you think it's important to discuss mental health and ADHD openly? I think it's really important to get over that like taboo, that stigma of we can't talk about these things, it's quite shameful, you feel um, that nobody understands, but actually the more open we are, the more we can all be on the same level, understand and have support. That it builds more of a support network for people to feel listened to, feel heard. And I think it is really important. And I think actually for us, just letting people uh, find out a little bit more about it, you maybe don't know enough, isn't it? So like you find out little snippets when everyone's talking about it, everyone's different experiences. So the more open we can be, the more experience we can hear, the more we can kind of feel, relate to it and understand it more. What do you hope that listeners could take away from the podcast? I think if each listener could take away one thing, like one golden nugget from each podcast or each episode mm. and we can get in 50 episodes out there that would be 50 little tips that they could take away and I think that would be a massive achievement for us. So Amanda how do you select topics for your podcast episodes? Um, so we do it really creatively, really organically. Uh, we don't really sit down and um, think topics through. Um, what we do is we listen to what other people say in our podcast um, and we call from them because by just selecting topics ourselves, it's really limiting as to what is potentially um, the topics of the podcast in general. So Christina, what's the most challenging aspect of doing a podcast that is about mental health? I think it's definitely got to be the fact that we want to create a nice safe environment we don't want to be insensitive to the fact that it is something that you know can be such a sensitive topic um but we want to make it light-hearted as well um and for people to feel like we are together we're as one like it isn't something that you need to feel ashamed of um and i think for us it's hard to get that balance of you know having a little bit of a laugh and talking about our own experiences but still being very sensitive to the fact that it is it can be a sensitive topic. How do you approach finding and inviting guests onto the podcast? Um, networking is a massive thing. Um, so I started networking through uh, my business um, and through that, um, going to um, other like events around mental health and then you connect with people and therefore you invent invite them to come and talk on your podcast. So how do you hope to expand the reach of Mental Mams? So for me and Amanda, we initially started with, you know, we've just started, it's nice and fresh. We would like to hopefully uh, get some like YouTube content, maybe video it a little bit more, maybe some shorts. Um, and obviously asking people to share, like the more um, professionals that we get on, the more interviews we do hopefully with their network and their reach as well, that'll help us to broaden um, the where it goes and broaden how many people can see it and hear it and kind of all take part and be like one big community together. How do you handle criticism or negative feedback? So for us, I think that criticism and negative feedback is all really important. I feel like criticism, as long as it's in a constructive way, we can't we can't improve, we can't get better, and we can't find where we're going wrong or where people want to hear. How can you give content to someone that you don't know what they want if they're not, if you're not prepared to take the feedback, take the criticism? So I don't feel like there's any negative uh, feedback. I feel like all feedback is good feedback regardless. So for us, we don't mind. Bring it on. Thank you so much for Christina and for Amanda for doing that, for their time and their effort. Thank you so much, girls. And now it's Challenge Accepted.
Here we are at Pole Guns in Newcastle, and Flo and Jadine are about to put me through my paces. Let's go. record the first one because I thought your thing was recording and it wasn't. Oh, well, it's because it's got a weird... I've got that one though. Yeah. Very nice. Keep the leg working hard. Leg working hard. Good. Now arch back. Arch. Push that leg back. Inside leg. Let's go back now. Lovely. Hold the feet towards the floor. There we go. Point your toes. Yes. Lovely. Very nice. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you so much for pole guns in Newcastle. Thank you, Flo. Thank you, Jadine. How was I out of 10? Zero. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much to pole guns in Newcastle. Thank you for everyone involved in today's episode. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until next time, see you soon. <laughs>